Welcome back to Web API Tutorials. I am Venkat. From this video onwards, we are going to implement role based authentication in our Web API. As part of that, let us start creating the tables first. In this video, let us look at what are the fields required for user table creation. Here you can see this is our database college app db this one already has students table and a departments table and here you can see students table is already covering student name email address date of birth and department id so now our application name is college application college application can have different different types of users right College can have students, also faculty, and non-teaching staff. Also, if parents required and the principal like that, so many users will be there. Okay, so this table is dedicated to students' information, and we need to create a separate table for users. Okay, we can use this users table for all these types of users. This table will have username. This username will be used for login and this is the password. So using this username and password user can login and this one is the password salt. So we are going to save this password as a hashed format. Okay. To encrypt and decrypt this password, we need this password salt and this user type we have just now discussed. This user can be student or faculty or non teaching staff or parents and this field indicates that this particular user is active or not if student is suspended or detained something like that so this is deleted field indicates that this user record is deleted or not so is deleted will be used in the case of soft delete we will not delete the record from the database but we will mark that as deleted true in real time projects we will add created date and modified date for the important tables so this user table is very much important so it is important to store who created this username and password who modified this username and password okay so along with this created date and modified date so we can also store created by and modified by okay but for now that's not required so that's also best standard for now let's save created date and modified date so this is the user table we are going to create so let's create this user table in entity framework and let's migrate this to the database in the next video for more videos like this please like share and subscribe. Thank you.